hopefully that is working properly. I think we'll see. I deleted the one I just made because that one was obviously freaking broken. Um, where is my posts so I can delete stem? Hmm, it didn't do it. Okay, fine. All right. So I haven't been around for a while. Um, I have had uh, problems with my my mind ever since I got over COVID. I had a lot of trouble with language. Also, I've had a lot of trouble with um, just my RA is getting worse and I've been in a lot of pain so things are a little confused right now. So I'm going to forget words. I don't mean to. I'm going to have problems with that and I apologize if that happens. I don't mean for it to. Um, I still, I since I haven't done this for like a year, a lot of my old programs have actually been been retired, like Snap Camera, the one I used to make my donut and everything. They've disabled it, so I can't use it anymore. I have to find another alternative. Right now, I can kind of, uh, there's a workaround, but it's not very good. So you'll notice that the, the filters aren't that great. Um, The timers are not on for some reason. There's a lot of things wrong. I'm trying really hard to figure out what's going on, but I haven't quite yet. I'm over on PCEU because I have a ton more houses that I've saved that I've looked at over the last year and saved for you guys. Um, I really have been hoping to come back to this and I don't know how regularly it will be, but it gives me a kind of a sense of purpose and I missed that. So we're going to keep on trying and keep on looking and keep on trying to make art. So this house is by Bastef. It's Gornier and it's on uh, PCEU, as, as I said, and it's a Hobbit house. And as you can see, there's a lot of little details, but that's a cute door. I would probably change this to, you know what you can do? Um, you can change a house to different permissions and the permissions are like, so people can visit. I don't know if it'll let me see it. I don't think so. Ooh, maybe it will. Nope. Just gives you the furniture list. Uh, when you go into F5 and you look at the settings, hey, piano, oh my gosh. Hi, sweetie. Um, thank you. I'm trying to do this again. We'll see, we'll see how this goes. I don't, all of my, um, hi. All of my add-ons and everything that I had set up since it's been since March of last year, don't work anymore so I have like all these broke ass things that I have to fix that you know it was hard for me to learn in the first place so this is a this is especially difficult um, but I did miss you guys and I wanted to come back check it out so see so you guys see this tree you remember I don't know if you saw this but they charged a fortune for this tree and the reason why is because you can change the seasons. So like this one I think is summer and then the leaves fall. And then this one is autumn and then the orange leaves fall. And then this one is winter and the snow falls with this one, which I'm awesome. And then this is the way they had it. So if you don't want people to come into your house and change all that stuff, make sure that you change your permissions so that they can't. Um, I can show you that later if you'd like. We'll talk about permissions at some point. But this is a, a hobbit house. So we're gonna go inside, but you can see what they've done here with Gornier is they took, this is one of those uh, seed pod houses and they just gave it a new front. So we'll go inside. I have been very ill. I've been depressed. And I'm working on coming back from both of those. So I apologize for not having been around. Um, 
we'll see how I can do this. You know, we'll see if if I can do this. Um, I hope so. It's weird because Eliminad and Garewolf and Erica the Cat all followed me in the last like month, and I don't know why anyone would follow me at this point. So I'm really touched that anyone would. Lately, I've been working on my own stuff, my own housing. I wanted to do a high aisle house, but it's not, man, that stuff's expensive. I just spent millions on it, millions to, to do that. So down here we, we have portals. These are essential housing tool add-on portals that take you to somebody's house. So for example, Amaya takes you to their Amaya. I also have this so I can brighten things up a little bit, but there have been so many wonderful housing changes. And as I understand it, even more are coming. But the biggest ones are, of course, the time of day, which we were begging for, begging, 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 and we got it. And I, I think that's largely because of Cardi, Cardinal05, the creator of Essential Housing Tools. Um, so I'm, I just came back from New York where I was visiting my family. <clears throat> So none of these, when you open them, none of them really let you go in. It's just different hobbit houses. And the exterior is really what you're supposed to be looking at. Um, and aside from that, I haven't really had a lot going on. I've been reading a lot and touring houses in preparation to ever coming back to doing this again. I like that window. And if you hear snarking, my boy, uh, Connor has a cold. He's a cat, not a person. Um, he's laying on the cat tree behind me and he's snurking because he's having trouble breathing and he's been sn uh, sneezing like crazy and everything. So you can see they did the like the rounded thing, the rounded barrel look. I've seen about four or five of these kinds of houses and generally they use this house or other pod houses. Um, but I've also seen one in Old Velothi. Oh, look, they completely reskin the inside of this pod. It's all like normal. Okay, so I don't know, let me back up. I don't know if you know that EHT has some, some new tricks, including it's much easier to see what people used. You could just hit F5 and you see, you mouse over what you're seeing and it'll show you what it is. And it doesn't mean you can pick this and walk away with it. It, it just means it's just for identification purposes. So in this case, it's a Leowin wall wainscoted. So we know that they've redone this in Leowin style, which is neat. If I'm having any trouble with sound, with a uh, delay, with anything like that, please tell me because I'm, I'm trying to get the technical stuff back to normal. And I don't know if anything is malfunctioning. So yeah, another Leowin room, very beautiful. Leowin's gorgeous. High aisle stuff is gorgeous. Just in general, you can't really go wrong with them. Thanks Ajax, I appreciate it. Also, another amazing thing they gave us was the uh, lava. Oof, it's crazy. Um, the lava and, oh God, there's just so much, you know, the additional water stuff. And there's so many things that they have given us. Uh, it's crazy. So what I wanna show you next is I mean, I suppose we could just go through them in order. Why not, right? Um, thank you. Uh, if you hear crying, that is my other cat. She is pathetic and she, she wants mommy all the time. Amy. Yeah. Come here, goofball. This is my bean. Yeah. 
Debbie's back. I try to be. I'm trying to be. I've been fighting with confusion, brain fog, all sorts of stuff. So, and also I've like, been down, so I didn't quite want to come back when I wasn't feeling my best. But here I am and I'm going to try. Plus 2,000 for cat. I have three. We have Connor who's sick and he's sitting there on the cat tree. Thank you. Um, we have the mean one, Sherry, who is sitting on my desk currently and is probably going to bite me. And then we have my bean, who is actually, she's named Kamira, like Queen Kamira. And uh, she's, she's a mommy's girl. She is so needy and she yells. All right. So this is, uh, we're going to go look at an erstwhile sanctuary by Unk Tom. It's, it's a, I wish to paint a picture of a cold, dark, and gent very gentle place, Aria, or the white-haired girl. Tribute to Dark Souls 3, which I've never played, so if I miss something, I apologize. A representation of what could be painted world with the very Dark Soul pig pigment. Um, I want to say this... <laughs> just right straight out part of the reason why i didn't want to play any do this anymore was if i missed something i made people so mad and they got really annoyed with me because I, they felt i wasn't touring their house properly i do the best best i can but if i miss anything just tell me nicely and i swear i will go back and look at things again and and retour your house and and get what i missed i have no no desire to miss your your beauty or your art it just sometimes happens like unintentionally what is this i think this is the crown plinth i don't think you can buy this normally this alien plinth check it out it's got like it's like a greek urn or something that's got all these different i don't know why their candles aren't lit don't you think their candles should be lit I wonder if their lights are out for some reason. I wonder if it's intentional. Uh, something that you can do, if you think that something is wrong, like maybe somebody turned off all of their lights to be a jerk, you can, if they have the permissions right, turn them on for them. And I think we should, because it's it's difficult to even see the markings on this, unless you have the, the, ca the candles going. I'm going to forget words again. Oh goodness, really? Thank you. I take, I've been really active on Twitter and I've posted a bunch of your stuff, uh, Resistance, because, and I try to tag you, but I don't always manage to, um, because I, I wanted, I want people to see your artwork and that goes for all of you and I try to, take screenshots of details and share them with you folks. Um, but sometimes I miss them. I do the best I can. And I'm just going to say in the future, I'm just going to tell people, what is that? They took a whole statue and buried the whole statue in there just so they could have the shield laying on the floor. That's cool. Um, neat. Oh, Sithos. Sithos! Sithos is buried in the wall. Oh, yeah, no problem. You know, S Twitter's got its problems for sure. Um, especially with all... See, it was this statue. You see this statue? See the shield on it? Uh, here's a light. That is the shield on it. That's what they buried over here. That's kind of neat. It's a good idea. Um, at Twitter is just, it's not the best. It's got its problems. It's got Elon. Um, but there is such a tremendously great ESO community on it. Just good, kind, supportive, loving people. Um, if you follow me, you'll eventually come across them because I usually talk to them a lot. Um, that's a Lux item. And it's really worth it, I mean, to get on it and to suffer through everything. Just so you have a support system, if you're not a very social in real life person, it's a great way to have a social life 
when you may perhaps don't have one. Like me, I'm disabled, I don't go out much. What they've done here is pretty cool. What they've done is they've used Daedric Rock uh, angled in such a way that you don't see the blue in it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This rock, this Daedric Rock, has, wow, they lit it so well you can't even see the blue. Uh, it has little blue flecks in it, and it, depending on the light, you can see the blue flecks, better or worse. But if the lighting is correct, uh, you will only see the black, see? And then, yeah, no, seriously, some of the kindest people I've ever met in my life are on Twitter, and it's just amazing. You know, it's funny, because my mom's 70, and she's on Twitter, and she's like, the people I've met on Twitter are the best people I've met in my life. It's definitely a cesspool. It has its cesspool parts, but if you do, the, if you do uh, limit yourself to good people, you won't have problems. But yeah, the cesspool is definitely there, though. I won't lie. So they've made it so it looks like you're going over this giant abyss. Um, by using that Daedric Rock. And that's how you do dark black. If you were really interested in it, that's how you do it. More broken statues. I'm glad I put the lights on. You wouldn't be able to see little things like this with the little hands sticking out if I hadn't put on the lights. And then, God, we've gotten such good stuff in crown stuff, but it's so expensive lately. I'm not sure, huh, is that the, is that, it is, it's the ambition seal. And then they put more than one of them in there to cover up part of the glass. That's interesting. Um, very gothic, right? Not really my taste, but very technically beautifully done. I, I'm not much of the dark and scary kind of gal. I, I prefer less scary things, but it is, it is, I do appreciate the, the amount of skill and talent that went into this. However, I am a bit lost, <laughs> which I guess some things never change. Let's try this again. So it's 667 items out of 700. So I'm gonna guess that that's it because it's, even though it doesn't look like it, it's got a lot of items just buried in like a skull and over here I have plants and over here you have, I saw some more rock plants over there. So it's, it's dense is the word I was looking for. There's a lot of density to this build. Okay. So yeah, I think that's it. I think we go to, if you, <laughs> my cat's in the background <laughs> banging on the, the closet door, which I've been talking about recently. There's nothing in there. I open it, she gets bored, but then she'll go back and banging on it. And, and my husband says she's looking for Narnia. And I think that that's probably <laughs> true. <laughs> She hasn't found it yet, but she keeps looking. <laughs> Goofball. All right. And even if you don't watch this at any time soon, you can always watch a video of it on YouTube. I'll always upload it later. Sea code. Um, Argonian Sea Town, Tel Galen. Now, well, just to prove to you, I've been looking for stuff for you guys for the last year. Um, 230 days ago, I was look I found this house. And a local or Argonian port town has recently opened to trade and fishing on the coast of Inner Sea. There are a few local houses, a tavern, docks, and a marketplace, and plenty of room for further expansion. An old shrine now serves as a lighthouse beacon. Beacon. See, I can get some of the old ones to work, but not all of them. 
Some of them are still fine. Like that one's fine. Um, so we have C code. And Telgale, in which personally I love when people build up in Telgale, but I'm not sure. Excuse me. If C code has built up or not yet. If you have questions about any items, please ask me and I will be happy to tell you. Um, obviously, a lot of items have been added. Oh, goodness. They built a whole. T yeah, they did. Oh, my goodness. So, wow. You've got a Zanmir and a whole little village over the water. Yeah, this is definitely cool. Um, I've tried to do something like a village like this in Hundings. It doesn't work because there's not enough ocean front or ocean uh, to really build something large on it. I would say either this house or believe it or not, um, Panther Fang has a ton of water in the front of it that you may want to check out uh, if you want to build a town over the water. But Telgalen is another good choice. And the sunsets here are phenomenal. I don't know if they have the timing set up with the, um, what do you call it? Sand clock. I can never remember the real name. <laughs> oh God, I can't remember it. The word has gone. The word is gone. The, that thing, uh, hourglass. <laughs> I finally got it. Hourglass. Um, I don't know if they changed the time with the hourglass, but did it, I don't know. Oh, they did. Yeah, they did. I don't know if you know this, but there's another uh, item that does the same thing as the hourglass that's coming out for the... I think it, it's an orrery, and it's going to be for sale. And um, it does the exact same thing as the hourglass, but it's, you know, for people who may have missed it, they can get it now in another form. It just won't be an hourglass. I'm not sure what it, if that's going to be the, if they're ever going to bring back the hourglass, but I don't think anyone's really hung up on that. I think people just wanted the time control. See, I love this. The, the builds that have incorporated Fargrave, High Isle, um, even some Solitude, definitely all of those kinds of builds are just, it's amazing what they've given us, finally. You know, we have glass, we have all the things we've been asking for, in general, we got. And it's beautiful. Oh, somebody's here just arrived <laughs> I hope it's I'm not interrupting but I do think this is the whole thing so it's, it's it's an Argonian town and it's lovely and I'll get out of here so that I'm not bothering anybody okay next we have Vietnam's Shalidors now I don't usually like Shalidors because they're too big but this one I clearly did. Here lie, lives, I can speak, here lives an ord antiquarian and scholar. His wife passed away recently and for her fear of crypts, he decided to lay her to rest under a tree, although there's a family crypt on the estate too. Well, that's kind of a depressing setup, but I get it. Do, 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 do. Na, na, na. I can't. Yeah, it gets stuck on on Shira for some reason. I can't seem to get off of Shira again. I don't want to be Shira. Oh, good, I'll be pink. All right. Oh goodness. That is beautiful. That is a. Uh, it looks like a Nordic church or something to me. It's quite pretty. 
the snow lilies, although they're crown only, are just beautiful. I think they're fairly cheap, though, as a crown item. And you can then put a lot of them up for not much. Solitude style, it all goes with this lovely um, Nordic church type deal. Eventually, I'm going to build a crafting house. I've been talking about it for years now. And every time I try to build one, it just it does not please me. Everybody does it better than me. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm so jealous. Maybe one day I will. I will improve at that. I do like their storage area, though. I just, like, totally want to take the garlic. Take the garlic! Hmm. Okay. So what's upstairs? All right. We got makes many soups. Oh, Excuse dear. The smell, but you must deal with it. Boiled fish for today's soup. Let me see about that. I do not trust a fish that. soup if it does not waft in all directions. I will admit, though, that this one is particularly pungent. All right, I got rid of them, sadly. Oh, my husband's home. He doesn't know I'm doing this. This will be interesting. All right, so they built the second floor. Now this is entirely made by hand by someone. This is not a pre-built house, as you know. Vietnam built this from scratch. I'm not a big fan of these grates. I, I, I think there's got to be something better to use than grates for the windows. I just, I don't think they're as attractive as they could be. I, I get what people are going for, but I'm not a fan of it. Like this, you could use this just as easily. Is somebody following me? Somebody's following me. I don't know who, but somebody is following me. <laughs> I saw somebody scampering. Scamper, scamper. And then more storage up here. I see you. Somehow. Maybe. I really like this. It's a nice Nordic house. Okay. Let's go downstairs and see. Ooh, look at that. That's neat. Hi, Malastrella. Thanks. I'm, I'm going to try. I can't promise anything, but I am going to definitely try to be around more. Um, so these are those orcish seals, and they filled a gap in the walls with them, which I think is a good idea. And then, um, more pretty. Wait, let's go find the tree that they talked about. I see somebody, but I don't know who it is. I don't know who it is who's sneaky sneaking around me. There's a chicken. Maybe it was just Bastion. Yes, I'm streaming. Okay. Could you bring me my coffee? <laughs> Some stuff does not change. Aw, thank you. Oh, there you are, Dark Wolf. Um, yeah, I, I've been trying. I really have, but I just haven't had... I just haven't had it in me. I confuse words and get depressed about it, and so I'm trying really hard to improve. Oh, here we go. Here's the here's the grave, the wife grave, with the incense and everything. Oh, I like the baskets on the water. I'm a big fan of that. A stabity without coffee is no stabity at all, really non-functional come on hmm, that'll work for now what i notice is it's very washing me out whenever i get the new filter thing in i'll figure out how to do it in such a way that it doesn't wash me out is there sneaky no sneaky 
it's closed off here. It is a nice house. It definitely is. I have gone ahead and these are not just random houses. These are houses I've already explored that I thought were really good. Although I don't remember them. It's been so long since I visited them that they don't stick with me. But Windle's Straw Serenity, Windle on Water, an eclectic town by the water. Oh no! See, some of them it's going to be like that because it's been so long since I visited. Uh, Cerulean, Seavale Spire, coastal and island living. Nestled at the entrance of Seavale Coral Atoll, this sun blessed abode is said to be under the auspicious protection of the lady, her, from the lady herself. Home to a seasoned sailor and oceanographer, this magically floated home features an undisturbed indoor view to the seabed. Info, the house is behind the entrance. Thank you for that info because sometimes I, I don't figure that out. That is my cat. You're gonna hear a lot of her. She is yelly. And as she's gotten more comfortable over the last year, she has become more and more yelly. <laughs> so you're gonna hear a lot of yelling. <laughs> oh, look at that. It is behind the entrance. Oh, I know which house this is. Meow. Meow. <laughs> she just talks like that, I swear. She's, there's nothing wrong with her. She just talks. <laughs> I know, this is my bean. The talky bean. She doesn't want to see. You could put her down. She doesn't want to be up there, but she's so cute. <laughs> she's my baby cat. Um, check this out. Check out this floor. Isn't that gorgeous? They put the glass just under the water. So it's got that wiggly. Wow, the rain is helping distort it even more too. That is so pretty. Hmm. And then the expensive uh, Lewin gilded stuff. See, this is another house you could build a whole town or a whole village on top of the water and never have to go down inside if you don't want to although it's kind of a shame because the, the inside is really pretty but this is gorgeous I mean I have a thing about water like houses oh, with glass over the water it's beautiful and they put pets in here too couches those are clever. Those are elsewhere tables with uh, cushions on them. And then Bragas. I don't know if you know this, but you can get Bragas for free if you finish the entire uh, NPC quest line of um, Tales of Tribute. So... You don't have to do fighting against other people, you, you know, actual players. You can just do the NPC stuff and get him that way. And then you have another house guest. Well, this is beautiful. And the view. It's just really a stunning house. I wish I, I had thought of it myself. A microwave. Nicely done. What sometimes people do with microwaves is they take that um, pottery wheel and they put it in there and it spins so it looks like the thing is cooking, spinning. It's a good idea. And then here's some refrigeration. And what's in here? This is a bedroom. Another bedroom. Some tea. Balconies. Isabel, which I'm sure you know you can get when you um finish her entire when you get enough rep with her and then they put more over here i like those chairs and here's the pool oh look they put they put lights on the side 
So the way you make, oh, you die because you're an idiot like me. <laughs> I can't believe I got eaten by slaughterfish already. Some stuff does not change. <laughs> My husband just said, as is tradition, because <laughs> it's true. I got eaten by the, by the slaughterfish. Uh, if you want to make a pool like that, you just build around it kind of thing. You know, you build the pool area around it. Besides, I didn't think that you could get eaten out here. Now, I know there's nothing down here, and I'm kind of cheating by going down here, but I kind of want to see it. It did look inviting. It was like, oh, let's go swim in the pool. Nom, nom, nom. Nah, there's nothing down here. I got eated. No one should be surprised whatsoever. Okay. We'll do Hachiko-chan, Pine View Cottage. Looking for something warm, cozy, and surrounded by nature? Then welcome to your new home in Pine View Cottage. Um, Ravenhurst. Hachiko is also on Twitter. And what she does is she posts a lot of how-to videos and and stuff like that so if you want to learn how she builds houses this insane you really should get on twitter and follow her and her name is the same as it is here hachiko chan and she's super nice just a really nice woman um with a lot of artistic talent even not just in housing i mean just in general and you'll see it in her house like houses like every detail is incredible Look at that. He's even got a neat lamp with a basket. And then the stove. Look at the way everything is just perfect. A little bit of tomatoes trailing out. Look at the thing about cozy. Oh, look at that sign. Oh, that's cool. Like, cozy decorating. Some people do it so well. The clutter... And it just makes you feel comfortable and like you're in a house that's like lived in. I don't know where they get the inspiration from. But, you know, basket lights are pretty common. Um, here you got fluttering curtains. Oh, God, I love that light. Um, shelving. Man, doesn't it feel like you're in a real place like... In real life because the lighting the lighting from these windows these windows are, are amazing the Fargrave windows the light that streams in looks so natural it feels like you're in a sun-drenched room of your house that's what those windows do it, it's fantastic and even the way it hits the curtains it, it's really just something else Oh, look at these chairs. That's new. I've never seen anyone do chairs like that. So, um, baskets, obviously, with sacks in them. But they look so cute. And the little ottoman. Oh, all the decoration is so cute. And all the wood stacked up there. That would get a lot of wax on you, but otherwise it's neat. Oh, okay. Enjoy your trial. No problem. I'll be around. Hopefully. <laughs> and then we've got, um, this is gorgeous. This is a, like a diorama almost. You've got a real set of plants. So those are plants. Then you have a cup of something, which is steaming. I think this is a bed. Yeah, it's a dark elf bed to create the, um, the window portions and then a painting behind it which makes it look like you're looking off into the distance and the lighting which is behind it it seems <clears throat> strewn through so it looks like the light is coming from the painting it's really just beautiful oh serene has her own little basket mm. so i have felt like I, I just have felt like a loser for the longest time now because I haven't been doing this. I haven't... Oh, sewing machine! Mm. 
And I really wanted to get back into doing something that made me feel like I was contributing something. So there's so much to look at in Hachiko's houses. They're so beautiful. Oh, she did another one here with the light and the bunny. Bun bun. Look at the movement. The movement they've given us with items is really something else. It makes it feel so much more beautiful and natural. I love it. Okay, so those doors I can't open. What is this? Oh, it's just a cabinet, but it's a beautiful cabinet. So that is her beauty-packed, stunning, cozy Ravenhurst. And I think that's all of it. I don't think we can go upstairs. No, she, I think she blocked that. Yeah. So there we go. This first uh, stream may not be very long because, you know, it's been a while for me. And I need to, you know, get into the groove of it. But we'll do, we'll do it. Renegade Valor's Artisan House and Workplace, Captain Margot's. It is. It's stunning. I mean, Hachiko's stuff makes me feel like I'm a terrible builder because <laughs> it's so good, right? But I know better than that. We, everybody's different. I've just been so down that I'm really glad if I can make this work again, if I feel good enough, then maybe I'll be able to um, consistently stream and feel more positive about myself. But So this is Renegade Valor's um, Margot's, and it is jammed packed with items. I mean, it's... It's one ninety nine out of two hundred, but it looks even more full than that, and that's really cool. So they took the snow lilies and they put them behind. This is the solitude bookcases, and then put display cases in the bookcases, and created this break front. Is what I think you would call this. And then the Mark Meyer lamps in it. It's really just stunning. That must be Druid. These pots. I don't know for sure. One of the things about building in a small house. Oh, look, they made it fake, fake statues. So you look like they're being carved by embedding them in the same color rock. But one of the ways to make something feel really detailed cozy lived in is to build it in a very small house or build it in a very small portion of the house and that way you can tons of items and people are really up close to them like this you know we get up pretty close here and we see all right how often do you look at things like this in a big house it, for me it's less often than I would like and look at that. They made the exact same. They reproduced the painting so that the person is doing a still life. That's pretty amazing. What's up here? And then they even have enough items to build a little sleep area. <laughs> look at all the clutter. That's what I mean about small houses, which is why a lot of people are demanding small houses. You know, we're, we're begging for them. We're like, please give us more small houses. We want them uh, because they give you this opportunity. But don't forget, you can always use a big house and just cut off part of it. Only use a little bit of it. Let's do one more. I know it'll be a short one, but I'm, I'm not in any shape to do long ones yet. Let's do Rubitite's Rubitite. Uh, Cyrodiilic, small garden, small Japanese inspired garden with tea house. And, you know, I'll do what I can about doing this more often, but, uh, man, it takes a lot out of me because it's been, a, it's been a long time since I've done it. And I had, I still have to figure out the, oh, good clutter is peak housing. Um, I still haven't figured out all of the program changes that have happened to all of my stuff. So like my streaming items. 
stuff. All right, we're going to Tate, and then you have, okay, so this is a, a Japanese garden, I think they said, and you can tell they use a lot of elsewhere stuff, and this looks like it's, it's this tree, I forget what it's called, come on, eh. that's a common tree, um, used for bonsai, so that works really cool. I think the plants, they paid a lot of attention to what actually looks like it belongs in a Japanese garden. So that's awesome. And we have, unfortunately, the bamboo is all um, crown store, which sucks. And then they added, these are waterfalls, a bunch of them. One, two, three, four, five, at least five waterfalls to create this river or stream. I guess it would be a stream. It's too big, too little to be a river. Um, and then they made a Zen garden and there's the stick that is used to drag lines in the Zen garden. If you've ever, uh, if you've never seen a Zen garden, just Google it because they're really neat. All right, and then inside, wow. Now, I don't know if you've realized, if you've ever seen Cyrodelic, but I'm assuming you have. It's a tiny house, but what they've managed to do here is it actually looks bigger. And I think it's because of the, this, uh, what do you call this? A platform, but it's also got steps up. The fact that it's raised, the raised platform, I think really makes it look bigger. I would think you should make it look smaller, but it doesn't. It makes it look bigger. And then I have the T. Uh, all of this stuff is so beautifully done. And then I have a purple torch butt. Torch butt! And then... Maybe we'll do one more. Mew, mew, mew. I shouldn't just do the small ones, but. Let's do Fialgadur 77's Saloon Twin Arches. Do, 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 do. Wah, wah, wah. Go to the Old West for Saloon. saloon. Stabby sippy cup of coffee because <laughs> I can't survive without it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it is very old west looking, I can tell. Salute! Look, it's written out. Oh, you know what I love about that? I love the, the skull because the skull is so old westy. And then there's a rocking chair on the porch. And then inside, oh, they've got a portal here. Not sure where that goes, but no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna leave yet, but, oh, okay. So this is brilliant, all right? I've seen this done in a couple different ways, but the thing that the um, Sijic floating books do is it kind of makes it look like keys are moving like somebody's playing it. So when you want, if you're going to build a piano or an organ, um, especially a player one that's like, you, you know, you turn it on and it it plays by itself. I think using the Sidgic books is the best way to go because it makes it look like the keys are moving. And it's got gambling going on. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I guess we could watch sports or whatever is on TV <laughs> from in here. That's cool. I like that. And then we've got the bar itself, Keldora. And then what, I guess this would be darts, but there, it's not quite darts. It's with knives, which I suppose is a little dangerous, but whatever. 
and they've closed off this other room. I don't think there's anything in there. No. So it's just this one room. I like it. I like it a lot. Cozy little place. Um, I would like you to show you stuff that I'm working on, but I don't, I'm not on that server and I don't really want to, you know, make you wait till we go over there. So it's, we're just going to do a little, hold on. I think that'll be enough for me on a first day. Um, and then I can always do more again later, but we'll do a snug pot and finish on a snug pot. Uh, Sorry's underwater house. <clears throat> Sorry's does some of the best work on EU, period. It's beautiful. And she's the head of guild. I forget which guild. But um, she and Futerko are both excellent builders, both heads of guild, major guilds on oh look at that on eu and both of them would be great people to contact if you wanted to join any of the guilds any of the major housing guilds all right here we go look at that fish that is beautiful lots of movement oh no what happened to this guy that's terrible. No, help me. Ah! <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it's an angler fish, I suppose, but it's funny. <coughs> Thank you, Resistance. Yeah, Tamriel Holmes. And, um, man, imagine seeing that come out of the dark. Right? <laughs> I love all the fishy stuff they gave us. The bubbles. Oh, look at that. If you look up, you can see more of them. Oh my goodness. Those are the vampire pea bottles. I guess those are pieces of bread she stuck in there as eyeballs. That's funny. You know, I visited this house very quickly. Saw that I was going to want to tour it. And then marked it down. But I didn't, I hadn't taken the time to actually look deeply at it before. And there's so many little things that you can see and imagine. And it's just fun. There's lots of little fun items. Oh, that's beautiful. It is really nice. It's beautiful, sorry. If you watch this, I just want you to know I... Your talent is is impressive as always. I really like it. Yay! All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write off because I'm still trying to get back into that kind of energy that I need for this. But let's do this to Jay Hart, who often does housing and who I love. Um, and let's go. And I will see you all soon. I hope. <laughs> Raid in three seconds. Thank you.